So as you're probably aware, Apple recently released the new Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra chip, which is two M1 Maxes fused together to create an absolute powerhouse of a computer. Now, Apple claims that it can handle 18 streams of ProRes footage. And after going and testing it with one stream of 8K footage out of the Canon R5 and it not working, I wanted to test to see if this claim was actually true. First things first though, I needed some 8K test footage and my cat seemed pretty keen to be involved. So I set my camera to 8K and decided to let him have his moment to shine. I then brought the clips onto my computer, transcoded them to ProRes and put them on my phone using AirDrop. I then hopped on my one wheel and rode to the Apple store. Here's proof that I was using the Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra chip. I then airdropped the clip across, set up an 8K timeline and started stacking clips. 3, 4, 5, 6, 15, 16, 17, 18 streams. Once I had 18 streams stacked on top of each other, I pressed play to see how smoothly it would run without pre-rendering. And immediately it came up with a frame drop warning. I tried this a few times, but it was clear that it wasn't gonna run smoothly. So I turned on background rendering to see how well it would do. I also staggered each clip and added a small crop giving a better visual representation of 18 streams of 8K footage. And after a quick render, everything ran smoothly with no problems. I then added some quick color presets to see how well it would handle those. And it rendered so quickly, I was really impressed. And once rendered, it ran super smoothly without any dropped frames. I even checked to see if it got hot in the process and you couldn't even tell that it had even been doing any work. Finally, I wanted to see how 18 streams of 8K would export into an 8K clip. And to my amazement, it was lightning fast. Also, for some reason, I think the stabilization got turned off on my GoPro because this is crazy footage. So I would say to their claim, yes, the M1 Ultra on the Mac Studio can play back 18 streams of 8K footage. And I really think that, A, you're probably never going to uh, edit 18 streams of 8K footage at the same time. But B, if you had to, even with the rendering, it would be pretty smooth. You would have no problem with it. So yes, it does play 18 streams of 8K footage, even with some effects on it. And you know what? The thing didn't even break a sweat. So if you liked this video, check out my other video that I did on the M1 Ultra, where I tested one stream of 8K all eye footage directly out of the Canon R5. And if you like the video, please subscribe, leave a comment below. I always love to hear from you guys. And um, thanks for watching this video. You guys are awesome. Cheers.